officially open across Kentucky. With several congressional, state, and local races on the ballot, along with two state constitutional amendments, poll workers say they are ready for a rush of people. Krista Spadagini is live at Frederick Douglass High School, one of Fayette County's polling locations, to tell us what we can expect at the polls. Well, Mandy and Paul, it's a few minutes after six, and as you can see behind me, a line, a line of people have walked in. More than 20 voters are here ready to cast their vote. Moments ago, the poll workers just finished setting up. They finally opened the doors, and there's already this long line. They're walking to the poll officials to first check in. They'll scan your ID, you'll sign in, and then they'll give you your ballot. So this year, it's a long ballot, front and back. But before you start checking off your pick for each race, representatives from the State Board of Elections say to make sure your ballot is the one you're supposed to be filling out. They encourage you to view your county sample ballot online and bring it to the polls. This way, you'll speed up the line. Kentucky is also a state where you can bring written notes or view notes on your phone in the voting booth. Election officials say they don't want anyone to be deterred from voting this year. They're working hard to make sure you're comfortable at the polls. We have worked really hard this entire year to ensure that we will be having a fair, safe election in Kentucky and the Commonwealth that Kentuckians can be proud of just as we have in the past. It's a tradition for us. And when you're done filling out your ballot and you make sure that everything's okay, there's the voting machine that's all the way over there in the corner here at Frederick Douglass High School where you're going to put your ballot in and it'll cast your vote. Again, the line is just getting longer and longer by the second. Polls opened at 6. They'll stay open until 6 p.m. And as long as you're in line before 6 p.m., by 6 p.m., you'll be able to cast your vote. Live in Lexington, Chris Spadaccini, Fox 56 News.